where we need to build a uh, nutrient processor. Which we are now doing close to our storage because it counts as storage as well. So take portable nutrient processor needs a hermetic seal. Okay, so we need let's check if we have a sweetened compost. Access ingredient storage? Ah there we go. Um yeah we do. I'm trying to remember if we can uh, make more. Let's check. It is Fishim and enzyme group. Yeah. So we need about forty sweetened compost to fill those feeders. The plant stuff can also be used in the air for recipes. Enzyme food. Enzyme food, I think we got from uh, Uchino cactus, one of those. Mixed with fish and. A lot of the recipes are just fish mixed with something else initially, and then later you mix it with other stuff. I'm sure I hope I remembered it right that it was sweetened compost. <laughs> Before we do this, we just check a few of these animals out. Where are they now? Enzyme fluid. So some of them's enzyme fluid and some of them's sweet compost. Okay, so we can make about two and two. Actually. Oh, I want to stack more. Hold on. Might have to use my uh, cargo. For this. Radiation protection. Four. Also, can I make more uh, enzyme fluid. I think this fish him and fermented fruit. No. Green storage. Can we to get plant stuff? I think it was um jungle ball? Yeah. So about ten of those. Uh, no, twenty of those. I 
capacity inventory. Yeah, unfortunately it seems to be limited to 5 for some reason, X size. Maybe because the item itself is stack size 5, but why? <laughs> this should be enough. Stack size 10. Goes until your input is depleted, yeah. This makes me think this one isn't the ideal. This might be too, f too close to my base. I wonder if uh, I am also get as close to the base. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna save from the base. Uh, capture new base screenshot, please. Much better view of my base. Upload this. Cool. And drop off stuff. Yeah, so big part of the game <laughs> is uh, just cleaning your inventory all the time, managing inventory. Polyfiber, sweet and compost. Um, and store that in Nugent the processor storage. Then polyfiber in there. Okay, it's been a while since I've been to my. Uh... Okay. Let me move this and then go and pick up some uh... activated indium. My activated name farm. It's been a while. So, my basis. Farm base Charlie. I think it arranges it in the order that you've been to them most recently. So, the most recent ones first. I haven't been to my storm base in a while. It's an extreme world. <laughs> extreme. Let's see if it's discovered by me. Storing. So this is a problem of such a big farm. <laughs> Is uh, need 44 four stacks of inventory to uh, move it all. There you go, almost. Yeah, so this is my uh, farm where I get all my money from. Huge amount of silos, 16 extractors just farming away. challenge is to uh, try and sell it all at once 
uh, space stations. I think that was my local one. Or the other one. I sh should not have uh, a crashed price yet for activated Indium. It's always the problem with such a big uh, wall is that we uh, need to find a system we haven't crashed the price in. Because it typically crashes the price for a long time. <laughs> Oh, and before we do this, I'll uh, sell, Let's make a bit more inventory space. Oh. So 245 million with the ones that I'm carrying. Um, I'll So, all of that's nearly full. And all of that's full. <laughs> so, two more stacks. And then we can sell. Because it's exosuit inventory. In my exosuit inventory, I have. 264 million. My starship inventory 151 million. However, if I sell just like this, so there's 200, 150 million in the um, spacecraft after I sell this, goes for instead of 150 million, 31 million. So that's a problem in selling it in two batches. It's, it's, uh, you, you crash the price uh, with the first batch. Try another system. Unfortunately. This is why I'm now mostly stopping um, in wealthy systems anyway. Is uh, besides stack sizes, they can afford. They can afford it. <laughs> Gucci system. So from my uh, starship inventory. Cool. Um, then a bit of space. Okay. Um, I think. Just thinking, I've got my list that I made before stream. So I cleared my uh, activated Indian farm, got clear eye dust, and finished my radioactive planet base. Next up is expeditions on my feet. Base colony Alpha. The original. This one's also got a bunch of plants to harvest. Star bulb and some frost wart in biodomes. It's for this atmosphere harvester. Saragoy, evening. Welcome, welcome. I am uh, still farming. I'm uh, currently just picking up all my uh, stuff from my different bases. Oh, I started this yesterday. Hold on, if this is any good. So I've got uh, automated feeders and automated harvesters. Uh, yeah. I don't think I. Uh, Check what they like. Inline fluid. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it seems to lose the stuff. I'm sure I left some stuff in there. Hmm. 
it is if you don't want to manually do stuff um, it's just a little bit tedious because I did leave, leave some stuff on going last night um, and it didn't remember that it was in there um, but if you're willing to wait around for a bit it's worth it because it gives you like stuff that you can harvest from them like food stuff that you can't normally get um, and the food stuff is used for um, recipes that can get you nanites I think uh, I'm not sure if there's other uses for that uh, but let me harvest some of these so this feels more rewarding <laughs> than the farming stuff I just did it so I know what it's about I would recommend uh, activated Indian farm first. If you type uh, exclamation mark NMS farm, the command, um, I watched a video by a guy called Craze Gaming on how to set up an activated Indian farm. This is how I just got uh, 400 million selling one load of activated Indian. I'm not uh, stretched for money at the moment. And it's fairly passive and that one actually does remember um, what's been stored <laughs> sure thanks for stopping by Ramon much appreciated good luck with the game <laughs> yeah so the silos and uh, mineral harvesting seems to be remembered it's just these uh, stuff with inventories like um, livestock unit and oxygen harvesters and things like that it doesn't always remember that you put stuff in it it's not very uh, persistent but, but yeah those uh, atmosphere harvesters. I've got another planet that also has a couple of atmosphere harvesters and mining units, but uh, I don't expect them to be to now remember that I actually left them to harvest stuff yesterday. Unfortunate. But the plants seem alright. I the other thing I built in this base is a short-range teleporter between uh, this set of buildings and the other one like this oh. my biodome buildings Fusion. This I'm finding quite fun, the plant harvesting stuff. I need to turn it into something valuable. <laughs> I can probably at some point uh, keep going with the main quest. No, there's very little PvP in the game. There is um, um, sort of space raids uh, where you can raid NPC fleets, um, but it's not PvP really. The, the multiplayer in the game is very limited, unfortunately. You can harvest all by in what? <gasps> Thank you. I would like. Uh, you kind of wish that there was a better way to do this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I knew that. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was all of them.
Hey, nice. That would taking me a while. Nice. Ah, this one, though. Eh? Hold on. Impulse. Kick me. Not have enough kicknip to finish this one. So you nip and nip. Okay. And ah, oh, that was it. Cool. Sweet. Nice. Learn a bunch of <laughs> Yeah, so this. So I typically leave this because it takes a while to actually run and then I come back and it's forgotten that I was here. Okay. Small bulb. Post water. Nip nip a buttons. Go in and stuff. Nip nip but Ah, the bubble class that I wanted to sort out. Cluster is a uh, anomalous plant which you sometimes get on the weekend uh, nexus missions. So, I think I can do this. It's called glitches. Makes it easier to then do it on the weekend. So just come and pick it up from here if you can. <laughs> okay, um, I want to go up to my freighter fleet. And send them on a mission. to repair one of them as well. I think I've got uh, one of them that ended this mission early yesterday and that you uh, fly back for repairs. Yeah, that one. Damage M6 Gosekis resistance. These ships are big, you don't always notice this, but yesterday was the first time I actually had to land on one and they are big. Shooting a landing sequence. Our ship is damaged, traveler friend, but this will not last long. Yes, you are coming to help. Expect damage to report. Mark damage compared. Yesterday I almost flew off at the edge of the ship because um, I didn't understand you mostly supposed to walk on the walkways here. Uh, on the other side, I think. And uh, thought I was uh, misread uh, one of these uh, icons on the edge of the screen. It wasn't anything to do with the ship. And uh, went in the opposite direction. Went like on the sides, like flying in between them. Look at my freighter. That's my freighter over there. Yeah, you can take shortcuts, but you can also fall in between the cracks and then fall a uh, hundred miles down. <laughs> Unit. 
five platinum, please. A very small motor designed to power very small parts. It has corroded and is full of a very small rust. Repair the damaged frigate components. Sweet. The amount you pay for frigates should repair from your freighter inventory if you have the materials, yeah. <laughs> you think so, right? Or have like bots that can repair it themselves. This is the, I don't know, whichever century this is. You'd think they'd have uh, bots that can repair them. <laughs> Flight control. Coming ships. Ships coming out right when I'm coming in. Store point saved. So this is the other thing I left um, one of my uh, large refiners running yesterday with uh, condensed carbon and oxygen. And this is the type of thing that gets broken because the systems forget about it. My Sentinel. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, so suddenly this thing doesn't remember that I left it running. I left one of them running yesterday. It's one bug, buggy thing still about the game is that sometimes you get that you left stuff running. Anyway, I think that's for a later uh, construction thing I want to do. I'm going to build lots of uh, high end ma materials, components, blueprint stuff. Come on, station. Debrief, commander. So, what did we get? Sac venom, units, yes. Organic catalyst. Units, 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 units. The final bug needs fixing. Been that way for a while. Ah, uh, yeah. It's uh, pretty annoying. It's why I'm not doing too much with that at the moment. Because I don't want to wait around for it. And if I leave it, it disappears. Magna gold, callback casing. Units, fusion accelerant. Deep brief. And there is carbon, packing effigy units, aerox, units, neural duct, album and pole, units, semiconductor, units, album and pole, aerox, hybrid grand paper sprouts. A powerful medicinal herb, this plant could hold the key to developing the cure for the common cold. It should be deposited at the responsible cloning unit immediately. I wonder if that's actually something you can do. Just uh, flavor. <laughs> Debrief, commander. Ah, oh, this is the one that uh, sent a few of my units home, I think. Filing reports. Units. Cake Relic, Viking Dagger. Units, album and pearl, units, units, 224, <laughs> Corvax casing, units, cake relic, units, geodesite. This is a skylock of the Etsu was recalled home for repairs. Several hull breaches are detected. This is four recalls, Bard was recalled home for repairs. And the third one also called Hempholy Pace. 
dormant buckvine bulbs. This plant has remarkable, remarkably poisonous leaves, highly toxic petals, and releases the scent, causes mild intoxication. Handle with care. Yes, space. Do not have space for anyone. Um, Sell this before we accept the next one. Sell. Back then. Gravitina balls, new old duck. Album and pearl. Penny leaf and nuts. A culinary, culinary delight. This plant was historically used to add flavor to meat past its prime. <laughs> Despite being a fine seasoning, the sample is probably too historically significant to be eaten. <laughs> Translucent relics. Damaged by the dam in difficult conditions that was kept in for so long this treasure shows few signs of its former splendor. Formant buckwind bulbs. And that I'm going to take a short bio and stretching break there. I'll be back in two to five minutes. Yeah, but. <laughs>